So today we're going to be talking about differential equations. So a differential equation is an unknown function or a dependent variable with respect to an independent variable. So let's see what we're talking about. The top part here, which is the function that changes, is the unknown function or the dependent variable. It depends on the one on the bottom, as you can see here. This is the independent variable. So differential equations divide into ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. So an ordinary differential equation contains derivatives of one or more function with respect to a single independent variable. As we see in these examples below, the derivative with respect to y depends on x. This is a single independent variable. In the following example, we have two different functions depending on the same single independent variable. Now, partial derivatives involve one or more function depending on two or more independent variables. As we see in the examples below, it's the same function depending on two different independent variables. Likewise for this other example. Now let's move on to the order of differential equations. So the order is of the highest derivative in the equation. Now what do we mean? See in this example, this is considered a second order. That's the largest derivative. In the other example, this is a first order. Now let's do some examples. This first example is considered a first order derivative because the highest derivative is elevated to 1. It's the highest derivative, not the function. Keep that in mind. Here, the highest derivative is 1. And in the third example, as we can see, this is the highest derivative, which would be of order 2. So now let's learn how to identify if a differential equation is linear. So we're going to pay attention to two things. We're going to pay attention to what it's elevated to and the coefficient before the derivative and the function. So the dependent variable must be in all of its derivatives elevated to 1, and the coefficient is at most the independent variable. So let's look at our first example. As we can see here, we have the derivative of y with respect to x, and there the coefficient is 1. It's elevated to the 1, so this is a linear function. The second example, we have the derivative of y, but it's equal to this See this cosine of y? That makes it nonlinear. That means it would be a graph of cosine, which is not a line. Here we have y to the 2, which makes this a nonlinear. Here we have the derivative elevated to the 1. The coefficient is 1, so it's a linear function. Here we have the coefficient is x, and it's elevated to the 1, so this is a linear function. Here we have a derivative elevated to the 2, which makes this a nonlinear function. I am going to assign you these problems, and I want you to pause the video real quick. Tell me what is the order, and if it's linear or nonlinear. Make sure you pause the video. Okay, so these are the results, and just some key reminders that I would like you to remember. For it to be linear, the coefficient is at most the independent variable. That means it will never be the dependent variable. And the unknown function would be at most elevated to the 1. We're going to do a few more easy examples. So we have the first example, which the highest order would be 2. And because of this e to the negative x, this makes it a non-linear function. It's not a line. e to the x is not a line. Here we have another example. This would be third order because that is the highest derivative order. Three, so third order. And this is a linear. All the coefficients are good and they're all elevated to the one. So in the bottom one, this would be a fifth order. 
And this cosine of r plus u makes this a nonlinear function. So thank you for watching, guys. Good luck.